channel so today i've done another makeup tutorial for you guys i know how much you guys love my tutorials even though i love filming the more chatty videos but i'm here dedicated to you guys if you guys want to see how creators look please keep watching so in this video i'm sitting down for the first time since my bbl guys who's proud of me how about you girl down in the comments below so i'm going to start off with the Too Faced shadow insurance glitter glue i don't know if i'm going to use glitter in this tutorial let's just see how we feel but i'm just taking a little bit just on my finger because i want to prime my eyes because we are using a loose pigment i ruffled around in my drawers and i found some cool makeup that i was like oh my god i want to do a makeup look with this and it's been a while since i felt cute so you yeah, know so i'm just putting this on the inner corners here so it's a bit tacky and then when i put my pigment on top it's going to stick on really well i always find whenever i use loose glitters or pigments or anything like that i need a base just to make sure it all like sticks on and it's really nice and pigmented just the way i like it who wants wishy-washy eyeshadow not me okay so i'm gonna go in this dose of colors magic moment eyeshadow it's like a really nice rose gold color maybe i use a bit of this actually my finger and I'm gonna pat it on just to get a nice base shade. I completely forgot that there's a primer at the top. And then on the other eye, just a little bit of my finger. You can also use a synthetic brush as well. I'm just a lazy biash. And then underneath here is where the pigment lies. So this shade is like a really nice rose gold. I'll do a swatch for you guys. Super pretty. It has like a gold reflex running through it. And I'm gonna use my BH Cosmetic, it's my Ray Ray number no. eight brush, just a flat shader brush. You also want to make sure you tap off the excess so it doesn't fall everywhere all over your foundation and ruin everything, you know. So I'm going to pack this shade right onto the eyelid so it's really nice. The brush that you pick should be flat and it should be synthetic because it will help pick up the loose product and help kind of like pack it on. So if you use a fluffy brush for this, it won't really like crush the pigment on your eyes. So you really want to like smush it all down so it's really nice and opaque. There's quite a few different shades like this. You can also get one called Rose from MAC. It's like a pigment. Very similar. I think it's a bit more pinky than this but it's a really nice rosy gold okay so now that i've got both eyeshadows on i'm gonna go with a matte shade on the outer corners like how we normally do so i'm gonna go in with this mark jacobs palette it's very dirty so i have to clean it off for you guys it's actually brand new i don't know why it's dirty so the eyeshadow palette i'm gonna use today is from mark jacobs and it's called 740 scandalous eyeshadow palette and it has a really nice mix of shades in here the Marc Jacobs eyeshadow palettes are so nice guys, they're so creamy, so pigmented, the packaging's lovely, nice and slim to put in your bag, they've got a good mixture of like matte shades as well as shimmery shades, I feel like that's what a lot of brands lack, I'm really digging these kind of shades here, it's got a transition shade in here, it's like perfect. Okay, so I'm going to go for this shade here, it's called Scandalous, which is like a reddish, purplish, pinky kind of shade. Oh, look how pigmented that is on this brush. I'm using a Morphe... Oh, it doesn't have a name on it. I think this comes in a brush set. It doesn't have a name on it. It just says Morphe. But any fluffy blending brush, and make sure you tap off the excess. But what are you guys doing for Valentine's Day, guys? Do you do anything special? Let me know. Do you guys normally celebrate Valentine's? Me and Granny used to celebrate Valentine's, and now we're just like the boring old grandma couple now. Isn't it, babe? Yeah. You never take me out. Why don't you take me out? Why is it always the guys? I remember me and Greg had this argument one year for Valentine's Day. And he was like, what are you doing for me? I'm like, Valentine's is for girls. I have to know it for you, bitch. Who agrees with me then? <laughs> okay, so I'm just literally like going back and forth. I'm just making sure these two colours are blending together. I want it to like fade into like a dark pink, light pink, and then into this kind of rosy gold shade. And you want to make sure you're wary of like this crease that I'm creating here. Like, I don't know why it's like a harsh ass line. So I need to make sure I kind of start to blend that out. So I'm just literally going back and forth between the eyeshadow. And I'm just adding more slowly. Even when I dip my brush into the pan, I literally do like one dip and that's it. The worst is when you kind of like move your brush too much in the pan that it create a lot of dust and that's how you get a lot of fallout. So when I build up this crease here, I put a lot of product in here and then when I have less of my brush, that's when I start to go higher and start to blend out that kind of harsh crease line. But we are going to have to use a transition shade because red is really hard to blend into your skin tone. Okay, so I'm going to take this brown shade here. It's called Little Miss and it is like a dark plummy brown. And I'm going to take some on the little of the brush and I'm just gonna work this right into where this crease bit is just so it's a little bit deeper but you don't want to bring this up too far so literally I'll go back and forth between the red shade and that brown shade and just blend the two together and then I'm also gonna do the same on the bottom lash line as well so I'm gonna take a smaller brush I'm gonna take a Sigma E57 and then just a little bit of these two shades 
Let's go blend this on my lower lash line. Okay, so now that we have all our smoky smoke eyeshadow going on, I'm going to go in with this Ofra highlighter. It's a brand new one. It's called Pillow Talk. Oh, yes. Come on, Zane. So this is like a really nice light pinky highlighter. I think this would be so nice for any paler sisters out there. But I'm going to put this on the inner corner because I'm really into like a really bright light in the inner corners recently. So I'm going to use a little pencil brush. This one is from Iconic London. And I'm just going to place it just in here. It's a really, really bright colour. So I really love the Ofra highlighters. They're literally like the best formulas. They are really soft though, so you have to be careful that you don't break or shatter them. But they give so much pigment. God damn. It just adds an extra bit of pajam, you know, makes your eyes look a bit more intense, a bit brighter, especially when we go in to add the liner and stuff like that. Sometimes it can close up the eyes. So putting this bright shade in here, it just gives an extra like pop of light, you know. Okay, so for eyeliner, I'm actually gonna use a gel today and I'm gonna go in with this beauty bakery gelato to go find smudge free gel eyeliner in black i'm also going to go in the zoeva flat liner brush it's a 315 brush Ooh, it's a very small little cute pop oh look it's brand new it's all shiny and everything first dip quite creamy okay so i'm gonna literally go on the inner corners and just start to like fade it out so this angle liner is a bit bent so it kind of helps you get into the little nooks and crannies a bit more. If you're a first time user of eyeliner, you might prefer the more of a bent angle because it kind of helps you not have to slot in your hand as much. So the difference between gel and pencil, I find that gels last a bit longer, whereas pencils are a bit more smudgy. So if you want that really kind of like smudged out eyeliner look, it's best to go for a pencil. You can still do that with this, but you just need to use like another brush and try to smudge it out a bit. And then I'm just going to draw in the wing. This gel eyeliner is not that black, so I have to keep going over it a couple of times to layer it up so it's really nice and dark and opaque. Okay, so I just applied some quick mascara and I'm going to put some lashes now. I'm going to use these lashes from Blinking Beauty, and it's in the style number five. So really nice and full and fluffy and long, you know. I've never used any Blinking Beauty lashes before, but they look so beautiful. I think it's in the style number five. That's what it says here. Design number five. Chanel number five, girl. Look how pretty these lashes are, guys. Woo! The lashes are like crisscross, so it makes your eyes look really nice and big and full. So I am going to go in with two Marc Jacob products. So this is a lip set. I've never tried any of the lip sets before, but this is called Georgie Girl. For Valentine's Day, it's cute to go for like a nice pink, cute look. This colour looks a bit too pinky lilac. But I'm going to go in with a Marc Jacobs Moon Glow Enamoured High Shine Lip Gloss. And this is not going to make it a bit more milky. I think this look will be really cute with red liquid lipstick as well. You really want to go all Valentine's Day out, you know. Okay, and just to finish everything off, I'm just going to tie everything in with MAC Fix Plus. This is brand new from MAC. They brought out three new scents recently. They brought out Coconut, Lavender and Rose. This is the rose version. And I feel like I've fallen back in love with Fix Plus. I kind of fell out of it for a while. But now that I've got some new ones in my life, it just helps everything kind of melt in and doesn't look too cakey on the skin. I'm just going to quickly do my hair and finish up and I'll be back. Okay, guys, so that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. and hope you guys found some inspiration for Valentine's Day. I really love the way the makeup look turned out. So if you did, please let me know down below. If you guys haven't yet, please make sure to subscribe because I upload on my channel every single Wednesday and Sundays. And also make sure you follow me on all my other social media platforms. It's X Tweely on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Enjoy the bloopers. So I'm just putting this on the... Yeah, go away. The mirror. Where's my mirror? Go on, where's my Mac mirror? So my light's in the way. I can't fucking see anything. Oh, my God. Butter fingers. Great, you're going to kill me, but this camera's not right. What are you doing? Still looking for his damn headphones. Oh, it's not in your way. Oh, the crap. Maybe there's a lot of crap to go through. Okay, I think what's up? Guys, oh, you like my earrings? They're from Primark. Sometimes I look at them, I'm like, God damn, it's so ugly. But I'm like, it's cute. It's like ugly cute, you know? It's a bit grandma chic. Balls on my ears, balls on my ears. Okay, now time to pose.